Hello everyone, it's Christina here. I'm currently in Hong Kong and just did a portrait photo shoot with Daisy. My photographer friend John was there to help me. We were exploring around Central, my favorite place in Hong Kong for an afternoon photo walk. So I saw this beautiful red gate and I loved the texture. It was late afternoon and I decided to underexpose the ambient light to create some dramatic shots. I pointed to 80-200 gold dog speed light on each side of the gate to highlight the texture. There were two back grids attached to the speed light so that the light can be more focused. Let me show you the photo without the mag grid. You can see that the light has been spilling around. The main light was a regular flash in a large softbox. I was holding the speed light so that the light can hit the gate at a higher angle. It was a great arm workout. And then we moved to PMQ, but this location doesn't allow us to use a flash. We tried to use pure natural light from the window, but the fluorescent light on the ceiling was interfering with the white balance. As taught in Photosprout's intermediate workshops, we have to switch off all the house lights if we want to use the natural light. But we could not switch off the fluorescent lights there, so we tried to pull Daisy away from them and get her as close to the natural light as possible. I tried to use the location to my advantage, and I just found that reflective service on a piano. Just like San Francisco, Central has a lot of interesting murals around. And we were very lucky to have that pocket of late afternoon sunlight, and it just disappeared in a few minutes. I hope you liked this very, very short tutorial, and I hope to see you again in Hong Kong or in San Francisco. Take care and stay safe. Bye bye. We are Photo Sprouts Photography Workshops in San Francisco and Palo Alto. Equipment is provided for beginners so that they don't have to buy a camera to come to a photography class.